you know, forget all of the aesthetics I'm doing in this video. Apparently, my new look is dad who is writing a novel in his spare time. So a few months ago I made a video, I asked you guys to make up some aesthetic names. Wacky Arm Inflatable Tube Man, <laughs> Core. Can you be quiet? That ended up being one of my favorite videos I've ever done and also the birth of such integral parts of my personality like the term Whiskey Grandpa. Whiskey Grandpa. That's me. Because I had so much fun with that video, I stumbled across a random aesthetic generator online. I am going to rely on the grace of the internet gods to send forth just the right aesthetics. Yes. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, I think. All right. That is dusty. Oh my god. Now I'm going to cheat a little. I did play with this website a little bit and I came across one that I have been thinking about a lot. Automatically put the one that I really liked onto the list and that is Lava Punk. So, swoop. All right. Art thou ready? Well, good because here we go. Mm. Moon garbage. Swamp Emo, Celestial Jock, Swath Overlord. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna write it down. <laughs> Anime Dad, Stormcore, ooh. <laughs> uh, same. Les Mis Garbage. <laughs> garbage, garbage. Space Retro, that's kind of cute. Woodland Core, Garden Vintage, oh, that's kind of cute. Blech. How would one do werewolf? You know what? Just because it intrigues me. Werewolf retro. I'm gonna write it down. Nature garbage. That is me. Moss core. Ooh, that's a good one, I think. All right, we'll do one more. And so she said one more and legend has it, she's still clicking today. Circus vintage. Morgan. At you. Uh, mama needs a new aesthetic. Victorian dragon. Ooh. So we've got some options here. Oh, it's way more carbonated than I expected. Before I put them to Hunger Games Battle It Out on the internet, I'm gonna pick my favorite out of these. <laughs> All right, time for these to battle it out. Can you see the blue screen of death reflected in my complexion? I swear to God, if that didn't save my document, you better still be there or I'm gonna be mildly upset. It is not. Good. Mm, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> so basically I have pitted the ones that I'm on the fence about against each other for all of you to vote on. You'll just have to wait and see what I choose tomorrow. Now, obviously I'm a bit biased with these decisions because I wanted to choose ones that I could Envision. I'm still reaching towards the ones that spark my fancy. Or tickle it. You decide. It is at this point in the video that I forgot to mention this video is sponsored. <laughs> so here is sponsor Rachel. Oh hi. Welcome to my bathroom. So today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. What is Function of Beauty, you may ask? Except probably not because I have worked with them quite a few times. Function of Beauty is customized hair care. Basically what you do is you go to the website, you take a short two minute hair quiz, you tell them your hair type, your hair goals, these are mine, and then you even get to choose your scent, your color, and the name that you want to put on the bottle, which I don't know why, I just think it's so cute. And also, stickers, yay! As an extra little treat, I like to add on the leave-in treatment for a little extra zhuzhing. Shush. I've said this before, but I always find a huge difference between when I use them and then when I run out and end up buying the cheapest of the cheap at the supermarket. What was that? You would like a slow-mo hair flip reminiscent of a 90s hair commercial? Okay. <laughs> Also, you can rest easy knowing that it's made of good stuff. They don't test on animals. It is 100% vegan and cruelty-free. There are no sulfates, parabens, GMOs, or toxins. 
good stuff. So if you do want to check them out, which I highly recommend, uh, my mom uses it, my sister uses it, so I recommend it to people outside of YouTube all the time, you can head to the link in my description to save 20% off of your first order. Thank you so much Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. Without further ado, let's get back to it. Hello. Today on this episode of Why Did I Even Bother Curling My Bangs? Because it's monsooning outside. Hmm. I'm at the thrift store. I'm waiting for my friend Sarah to arrive. So I have a little bit of time to kill. Not a problem. Yes. Oh my god. Neat. So I've got the five aesthetics that I chose. Here are the results of the polls that I put up. Some dramatic music, please. <laughs> Very reliable source of information. Why is it whenever we get together it rains? I know! What the heck? Hey. 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 <laughs> We've got Lava Punk. Circus Vintage. Circus Vintage. That's mm -hmm. right. Third one, Space Retro. Victorian Dragon. Moss Core. Moss Core. <laughs> to go with the uh, IT crowd, Moss. Yes! <laughs> Came here to kick ass and drink some milk. <laughs> and I'm all out of milk. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go avoid people and be frustrated because it's so crowded. It's a Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> Okay. Good talk. <laughs> Have a good nap. <laughs> we love you and goodbye. <laughs> My fast thrust in hand. <laughs> content they want. <laughs> this is what the people want. <laughs> I guess I'm drinking coffee at 8 o'clock at night. Am I going to sleep tonight? That's anybody's guess. Granny Rachel is coming at ya. I wasn't gonna pretend that this isn't what I look like 98% of the time. <laughs> In fact, I got a little something for ya. It's a M&M &M for you. So I'm not quite sure how I want the, the organization and the uh, flow of this video to go. I'm just gonna work my way. And first up is Lava Punk. All right, so for Lava Punk, don't ask me why, but I have a very clear image of a jacket that has kind of lava chunks and molten magma on the back. I kind of struck out a little bit at the thrift store. I thought for sure they would have just a cheap black leather jacket. Only leather jacket or faux jacket that they had was this Forever 21 jacket, a baby blue. Sarah suggested that I plasti dip it and I think that is the perfect idea. <laughs> might work, might not work. I am going to rip the sleeves off, creating that kind of lava and rock formations on the back. Good old model magic. Ew. Well, that's ironic. There is literally a spider web coming down from the ceiling and onto Peter here. Up, up, and away, web! Yeah, gross. Anywho, once again, I have bit off far more than I can masticate. Okay, here we go. So taking that model magic, or as I like to call it, the great hack of the art world, I'm using paper to texture it and make it look like rocks. This worked, but then I discovered just ripping it gave it a much more porous texture and it looked much more like lava rock. <laughs> lava rock. Tis my birthday. Birth. I just spent a little bit of time recreating an old photo of myself, to which I say, I still love me a good pair of overalls. Also, look at this amazing card that Madeline made me. It's funny. While the Lava Punk stuff is drying, another one that is going to require some drying and a little bit of more intricate sewing work is going to be Victorian Dragon. 
not gonna lie, this was just kind of another excuse for me to make something out of Model Magic, so I'm thinking a classic Victorian bodice with casual spikes. Now at the thrift store, I did grab this jacket, which, <laughs> if you look very closely, very closely, okay, scale pattern. I think I want to use this fabric as the base and then I can make the horns out of Model Magic. I'm going to sculpt the horns first and we can get started on cutting out the pattern. taking that jacket I tore apart all of the different components including the sleeves just to maximize the amount of fabric that I could get out of it. Well, let me tell you this uh, tested every single one of my brain cells and I rearranged things about 34 times. You can always tell my brain is a working when I started tapping my fingers. I'm just thinking real hard. Finally I came to the decision that some of this would have to be black bed sheets so I did the sleeves, the back, and the collar. Also, as much as I love how Bowie-esque this fabric is, we are going to paint it, so don't worry. Excuse me, sir. I need to sew that. If you could maybe not sit on it, that would be really helpful. You got the stinky stink breath? Huh? No, that was it for you? Sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. We have a... Uh, we have a lot of work to do. So moving along, uh, Victorian Dragon is coming along nicely. I need to add buttons. And then once the horns are dry, we can put the horns on, paint those. For Lava Punk, we need to put on the rocks. Now this is gonna probably look very silly. If at some point in your projects, you don't feel like just chucking the whole thing out the window, then is it truly a journey? While those are kind of in uh, limbo, I think we can get started on Space Vintage. We all know how much I enjoy a good play suit, so that's what I wanted to do for this, except a little futuristic. Now for this one, I have a piece that I picked up, completely lucked out on, because I did not think that there would be any chrome-esque fabrics available, but you know what? There were. Fancy that. Oh, why do I look like a middle-aged dad? What's happening? Hey champ. And don't forget all of the aesthetics I'm doing in this video. Apparently, my new look is dad who is writing a novel in his spare time. I'm gonna show you the garment and then I'm just gonna start ripping and tearing. Whoever decided that making five garments in such a short span of time, I will be writing a strongly worded email to myself. Ooh. I really feel like Austin Powers, god damn it. All right, first things first, I'm gonna figure out the length of skirt I want this to be. To save time, I am just going to keep the bottom half. It'll make my job a whole lot easier. Oh my god. Uh, okay. It'll make my job a whole lot easier if I can just take what's already pre-made and turn it into something else. Now, I don't know how much fabric that's gonna leave me to make the top, but uh, I guess we will find out, so. Oh, this place is a mess. Oh my God. <laughs> it's fine. Uh. You know, when we were checking out, the cashier was like, you know, if you didn't get this, I totally would. <gasps> I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> I have already made a waistband out of the sash that came on this. I think we can use that to gather this a little. Okay, this actually came out way cuter than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I decided instead of making this a closed skirt, what I wanted to do, have it close like this on the waist to kind of open play suit kind of thing like this. So that's the skirt. Now for the top, I was thinking I would use just the top. Quite literally, it is three pieces. Let me show you. Top half of the bodice and then I cut the sleeves open. Booby cup, back, and strap. I might have some weird seamage going on, so I'm gonna try to do it a little bit purposely. 
Yet again, let's pour one out for all of the brain cells I completely used up during this process. I had kind of forgotten that I needed a liner as well, so that kind of doubled my fabric usage. But once all of those pieces were sewn together, I could do the lining, which is the same thing, and then turn it inside out, and then you can sew along the bottom. To what new horizons can we look now? Where are tomorrow's opportunities? The frontiers of the future are not on any map. But now, what's ahead of us? Hey, remember this atrocity? Well, it's time to cover it in troll bogies and then start laying out all of those different lava rocks. I don't really have a rhyme or reason about this, I just kind of did it. Now, yes, this is an extremely roundabout way to do this, and I feel like that guy from the five minute crafts meme would be like, just buy a jacket. But you know what, you, get, you do what you gotta do. So I started off with a darker orange, went in with a lighter orange, and then from there an even lighter orange. I also added a metallic silver onto the rocks to make them look more like lava rocks, and then added yellow in between all of the really hot places. back to Victorian Dragon, I am covering up all the silver with a tinted green just to make it look a little bit more like dragon scales. Then taking this office supply I had sitting around the house, I could not tell you the name of this for the life of me, I stuck it through the bodice and then coated the underside of the spikes with glue and just stuck them on there. So I figured because this project is kind of a hodgepodge and a bit of a mess structure-wise, I figured I'd sit down and talk about what the heck I did for the last few aesthetics. Moss core. For moss core, I really, really wanted to find a way to embroider moss onto fabric. I'm pretty sure moss core already exists. Moss core could be someone who's like in the woods studying moss. <laughs> For this, I decided to make an entire blouse. To do this, I took an old dress that I don't wear, chopped it up, and made it into simple blouse. I did not do this on camera because I thought people would yell at me for destroying a dress to make something else. So I looked up how to do some embroidery moss, and it was actually not that hard. You do a, a classic French knot, as us embroiderers like to say, which I had totally done a plethora of times before I recorded this video and not just looked it up quickly on Google. I also attempted to add some wool in there to make it look kind of like Spanish moss. I, I don't know that this actually kind of, you know, worked. Now this resulted in a lot of tangling and a lot of curse words being thrown towards the garment. <laughs> garment.
For this, I really wanted to go for a kind of ringmaster look. I am eternally kicking myself because I had the perfect vest that I got off of ThreadUp. Ringleader, kind of circusy, black parade. When I was a young boy. But I th I'm pretty sure in my last round of donations, I donated it. I was gonna make a whole top for this, but I am so tired of sewing. <laughs> uh, so much. I just decided to make this outfit out of stuff that I already have. It is what it is. We're done. So those are the five randomly generated aesthetics, or at least my best attempt at them. I think some of them came out really good. Well, some parts of them came out really good. I think this one came out a little underwhelming. Gaston, I don't know. The space one didn't come out quite as I envisioned it, but you know, it would be cute for like a futuristic beach. That is me when I wear it. Futuristic beach. I'm a futuristic beach. Futuristic beach. Did three takes of that thinking that the next one would be funnier than the last, but I don't think any of them were funny, so that's just... I was never bored throughout this project, so that's a thing to be noted. But yes, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much, Function of Beauty, for sponsoring this video. Go check them out in the description. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel, if you're new here, and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload almost every Friday, and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! I don't like typing under pressure. I had this unpaid internship one time with this guy who was a filmmaker, um, and he was a douchebag. I remember one time I was typing and he was just like looming over my shoulder. He was like, hmm, we're really gonna have to work on your typing skills. And I was like, shut up, you're not my real dad. He's a sleepy man, he's a sleepy man. I just have to be pissing up a funny joke. Don't. He's very flexible. <sighs> then we. <laughs> My lips feel like an oil spill. Hide your seagulls. Mm -hmm.